What's going on, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at the villain of the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder movie. If you're new to the channel, we cover the backstories of comic book characters, especially those coming to, or rumored to be coming to, live action. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of your favorite comic book characters' backstories. Now, let's get into it and find out who is Gore the God Butcher. Gore is from a planet with no name. The people of his planet placed all of their faith of survival in the gods. They prayed and made ritual sacrifices, and the gods never answered their prayers. Growing up in such a harsh, unforgiving planet, Gore's life was filled with tragedy. His father died, and his mother was killed defending him from sand tigers. He later married and fathered children. He then saw his pregnant wife die during an earthquake. His children died of various causes until he was left with just one son. He then had to watch his son starve to death in his own arms. He cursed the gods and told his people there were no gods. They wouldn't let this happen to people. They wouldn't let them suffer like this. He was exiled by his people for his blasphemy. Gore wandered the desert, hoping for death. He came across two gods who had fallen to the planet after battle. One of the gods was Noel, the god of the symbiotes, and appeared to be dead. The other god was mortally wounded and called to Gore for his help. Gore lost it, asking the god, where was he when his people needed him? Gore grabbed the weapon of Noel and it bonded to him. He then butchered the god that was still alive. Now that he knew gods did exist, and wielding the power of all black, the necrosword, he set off on a quest to kill every god he can find for ignoring his people. Prior to obtaining the Necro Sword from Noel, Gore had no superhuman abilities, but with the symbiote bonded to him, he had superhuman strength, durability, speed, reflexes, longevity, flight, and healing. He also has the ability to manipulate darkness and create objects from it. Because of his prolonged lifespan, he has thousands of years of combat experience to draw from. Gore journeyed through the universe, killing every god he ran across. He killed a god on Earth, that washed up on shore and was found by Thor. Thor later came across some dead Slavic gods where he was attacked by Gore. Gore easily defeated Thor and was about to finish him off when Thor conjured a huge lightning strike that left both of them unconscious. Shortly after, Thor found Gore in a cave and Gore once again put a whooping on him. Instead of killing Thor, he tortured him for days trying to learn the whereabouts of Asgard. This gave the Vikings that had accompanied Thor time to find the cave. They attacked Gore, allowing Thor time to free himself and cut off Gore's arm from behind. It looked like Gore had been defeated. The Vikings and Thor both believed he was dead. Gore had survived the encounter and continued his work of killing gods throughout the universe. Gore's work went unnoticed by Thor for centuries, until the prayers of a young girl brought him to a world where all of the gods had been butchered. Knowing it was Gore, Thor began hunting him. Gore had traveled to the future and set up a base on a desolate earth. He took control of that universe and enslaved most of the remaining gods. They were forced to mine elements Gore would use to create what he called the God Bomb, a bomb that would kill every god across the time stream. Gore then traveled back in time to the point when he had just lost to Thor and captured him. Thor was brought back to his base world and enslaved with the other gods. The young Thor tried to destroy the bomb with part of a star. But all that did was blast Thor off the planet, not damaging the god bomb at all. There, Thor runs into Avenger Thor and King Thor, and the three decide to assault the planet. Gore defeats all three and heads off to initiate the bomb. As Gore passes his wife and son, who he had manifested through his wielding of darkness, his wife called him her god. Gore killed her, stating he is no one's god. His son Agar realizes Gore has become what he so much despised and helped Thor the Avenger. Thor was then empowered by the prayers of Agar and the surviving gods to a power level strong enough to absorb the God Bomb's blast and all black the Necro Sword. After seeing this, Gore screamed out in failure and Thor went for the head, decapitating Gore. 
How do you think they'll depict Gore in the movie? I do think Christian Bale's going to kill the role. What do you think? As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.